Well, my first, uh, for one of the first installs, one of the first upgrades, air cleaner, SNS teardrop air cleaner. I took this cover off right now. It had uh, the Willie G cover. I just took it off. I'm gonna take this off and put the new air cleaner. I'll show you the air cleaner very soon. The next step is gonna be a next video as well. These stock exhausts are coming off. And I got the vents and Heinz right over there. I don't know if you can, let me take this off. I'm not gonna go step by step, but I'll try to get as much, uh, as much details as I can throughout this video. Yeah, and these glasses, it's because they have the 1.5 magnification. That's the only reason. Well, I guess it came off. To show you, it doesn't matter what they tell you. Uh, the bike was serviced or not yeah look look at the amount of, of dirt on this filter this filter hasn't been changed in years in years and years and years i know that we're going to put a new filter it's going to breathe way better this is really dirty huh? These are breather bolts. They're drilled in the middle uh, and the oil goes through them and comes out to here. Then it goes through those plastic, uh, those rubber hoses and goes into the filter. Now here is the new air cleaner, SNS Stinger, which is uh, the teardrop, teardrop uh, series. But this one has an opening that lets even a little uh, more air in the front. The cover itself it lets air not only not only from the, from around, but also there's another filter over here that lets uh, more air inside. So this is going to be really. It's what I have on my Lowrider ST. Big fat filter. I'll compare this. Compare this to this, okay? New filter with the three bolts and the paper. And this guy's in now. You see this rubber? These rubber gaskets, they need to go, I gave you quite a few of them, they need to go between the base of the plate and the engine block itself, and they give you a few, so if there's too much gap or there's a, there's a leak over there, you add, you add a few, you stack them up. I'll start with just one, and obviously there's also one going over here as well. See, this bolt is a little bit different. It lets in through here and then lets it out to the side where over here, this whole base is, is drilled. So oil goes from the heads through this plate and then is diverted into here. So one goes between the head and the base, the base plate. Same thing on the other side. One shim between the head and the base plate right here in that area, okay? Then there's another shim over here and then the bolt is gonna go between all of them. So it's gonna look like this. Now once we tighten it, there's a good seal from here and from here, so the oil stays inside that element and then it drains through here, through these ports to here, and then it's sucked in. All the leftover oil, yeah, it's all the vented oil. Now let's bolt it down.
after a few rides uh, when I I check over here I'll inspect if there's any if there's any leak coming from here of oil that means I need to add another uh, rubber shim over here and on the other side but right now it seems like it's a nice tight fit and I'll inspect it after a few rides to see that this whole thing is clean of oil now let's put the cover on it's not over yet wait till you see this here's the kicker this is the other filter that gives even more air. Haha, <laughs> that looks great. That looks just great. Look how much air it's getting from all around the bottom and from here. And look at that chrome. Oh my God. That literally took me 15 minutes to do. There's the old one right there. With this, look how small. Look how small this filter was, the surface area on that compared, compared to this. How about that? Now I'm gonna, I also have some uh, k and oil because the filter over here, I think it's a K&N filter. Uh, I'm not sure it's an SNS and I have some oil that grabs the, uh, the dust. So I'll oil this filter a little bit. And look, the inside, I got it in red so it even matches the bike. That was an easy install. Watch the next video. I'm dismantling the pipes and putting the Vance and Heinz over there. Stay tuned. Bye.